the, the goal that we're shooting for with this is, um, aside from the multiplayer connectivity, is to produce the visualizations as, as a scientific visualization. So rather than an, an artist rendering of DNA, mm -hmm. it might actually be the um, the principles of, of the distance between the, the, the um, You know the the, uh, the molecules. Yeah, so, or or like a sheet of graphing that's visualized with the, the proper you know um, dimensions of the side of the atoms and orientation, things like that. So that you can like imagine things with nanoscales. Uh -huh. But I mean, I think where we're headed with it is is um, establish the, the proof of concept mm -hmm. that the classroom can be done, and then see what uh -huh. we want to run with it. And this is just from one headset, and then uh, like uh, I mean, of course, this is just a video call. So as, as many as computers we could possibly connect to this video call, or like how many clients. Um, so one headset, so the instructor, for example, and then the students will be on their, um, I guess, workstations mm -hmm. or tablets. Um, the, the other aspect to, uh, to this um, environment, we tested also like multiple headsets. Yeah. So another headset, um, we, like we, I could move an object, and the other headset could also see that as well. Like this networked over. This is over IP, so somewhere else. We can, I mean, like doming, doing a demo here doesn't make any sense since you're in the same room, right? Uh -huh. So, like in somewhere else in the like in the university, you could have another headset. You could see these objects move, scale, uh -huh. uh, manipulate it. Very cool. Very cool. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Hazal. Of course.